hello there in this video i am going to continue from where i have stopped last time and in this i am going to add the spring dependency for printing a message so in this video i am going to create the controller as well as the view for our project but first we'll start with adding the spring dependency in the pom file so we'll first go to mvnrepository.com and we'll search for spring web mvc and we'll look at the different version that is available for our spring web mvc so i'm going to use the 4.3.6 version you can simply copy this thing go to your project online shopping front end and you can open the pom.xml file which is already open first i'm going to specify the spring version that i'm going to use spring dot version so it was 4.3.6 dot release so that we can change it easily afterwards now here i'm going to add our spring dependency i'm going to remove this thing and so this version i'm going to use our properties which we have created earlier spring dot version that is open 3.6 release and simply save now if you look at the library maven dependency i have added only spring web mvc but since we are using maven it will also download all the corresponding dependency on which your web mvc is dependent because everything is separated into different different artifact id like this web mvc is dependent on web then web is dependent on context context on on core and beans so every dependency will get downloaded here so as you can see it is getting downloaded in my from the remote maven repository to my local repository once it is downloaded it will be displayed here so in the meantime we'll move to our second part that is configuring the front controller so what is this front controller the front controller is the one which will accept every request that will be coming from the client so we are going to configure this front controller in our spring web mvc so what this front controller will do the front controller will take help of a handler mapping which will tell me okay where this url must be handled so for that we need to have this front controller and in spring web mvc dispatcher servlet is the one that will act as the front controller so we'll go to the web.xml file and we're going to configure this front controller okay so it has already downloaded this web mvc aop core context web as i told you before so all the dependencies has been added now we'll open our web.xml file and here we're going to configure our front controller you can notice what is the name that i am giving to the servlet that is dispatcher and the servlet class so this is our servlet class and dispatcher servlet is our front controller now we need to say that every request must go through this particular servlet so i am going to create a servlet mapping here okay the name would be dispatcher but instead of servlet class there would be another element that is nothing but url pattern so i need to specify that every url must go through our front controller so for that we are going to say forward slash so forward slash indicates every url will go through our front controller so we have completed our second step now since as i told you front controller will take help of a handler mapping but handler map mapping creates a table of all the url that will be handled by a particular controller so all those controller you can say are 
helper controller that creates the data and passes the view so for creating a helper controller i am going to create a directory inside source main and as java directory so this is source main right click on main new folder i am going to say it as java now notice what will happen here as you can see on my build path it is source main resources now as soon as i click finish it is also adding this java directory in my build path so i am going to create a package so the package name would be like group id dot artifact id and the specific purpose for which you are creating that particular package so i want to create a controller so i am going to use my group id artifact id and dot controller for creating that package if you forgot what was your group id and artifact you can go to your form.xml file okay let me cancel it my shopping and you can see the group id is net.kzen and artifact id is online shopping so i'm going to use this strategy for creating or naming my package so i'm simply going to right click on this source main java new package dot controller okay. so this is how you're going to create your directory and a package inside that one now we'll be creating a controller class that will handle various url mapping like forward slash index home and all will be mapped to a single method handler okay so right click on your package new class and i'm going to call it as page controller now i need to annotate it with at the rate controller annotation so this annotation says okay this is a controller that will help or it will have all the other request mapping inside this one so i need to add the request mapping i'm going to add the value property and i'm going to specify multiple url here like forward slash slash home slash index and i'm going to say public model and view so model and view is the class that will have the model as well as the view name index i'm going to create an object of model and view and i'm going to say page so page will be like in my future video i will specify how we can create this page as the master page and i am going to return mv now i am getting this errors for not specifying where this controller annotation is available where this model and view class can be found so i am giving you a shortcut for eclipse you can simply press control shift and o so it will automatically import all those annotation and classes from the respective packages provided it should be there inside your build path and you can simply save it so that x symbol is gone so this is how you created a page controller now i want to generate some data that i will be passing to the view so i'm going to create a greeting property and i'm pass i'm going to pass it to my view so that i can fetch the data which is available inside greeting so how can i do that so i'm already using this model and view object so i'm going to use mv dot add object and i'm going to specify the attribute name that is nothing but greeting and i'm going to specify the greeting welcome to spring web mvc so this is the greeting that i that i will pass to the view and i will try to fetch this welcome to spring web mvc message inside my view now i need to create a views folder that i'm going to create inside web inf directory so inside my web inf directory i'm going to create a new folder and i'm going to name it as views now inside these views i'm going to create a page.jsp so that page.jsp has some link with my this page name so that i will discuss more in my later videos right now i just need to create a page.jsp 
so this page dot jsp is be created and here i'm going to pass that dollar greeting message and change my title online shopping and there is this index dot jsp which is automatically created for you you but i don't want this index dot jsp so i'm simply going to delete it so everything right now will go to page dot jsp because i have already mapped my page dot jsp with slash home and index so in my next video i am going to specify how to auto wire all those things like how to integrate your controller and your view together by creating a spring beam configuration file so i will be doing xml configuration so stay tuned and be patient for my next video which i am going to create soon to integrate and display that greeting which i have created for my view thanks for watching thank you